All right, so today we're gonna talk about how to beat a ish test, okay? A manure test, otherwise known as a congruence test. And that's basically when you go out, maybe you're going out, you're meeting people, you're talking to strangers, you're trying to make a good first impression, and somewhere along the conversation, they say to you, you're fat, you're ugly, we're lesbians, we don't like you. That can be in a social environment. And a work environment can be like, uh, you can't do that job, we're going to lunch, you can't come with us, you're not gonna get the promotion, your project sucks, whatever, okay? In a family environment, uh, what would it be? Somebody says, hey, you're getting fat. They might even say that. <laughs> Maybe you have a family that thinks you're getting fat. They tell you that all the time. You're too old. You're never going to find a partner. Uh, why don't you have a good job yet? Okay, that's what a, a test is. And it's basically somebody is accusing you, really. You're walking up. You're pretending that everything's fine and that you're a cool person. You're showing that you can express yourself. You're showing that you have good intentions. You want to have fun. And you appear to be a great person. And the person on the other side who you're talking to is like, nah, I don't believe it. I don't think you're really that person. I believe that. And they come up with this congruence test to see if you're really just full of crap and find the holes in your armor if you're really who you say you are. And on your end, I mean, to be honest, I mean, it can be frustrating. I know what that's like. Here you are tr taking time out of your day to go out to meet people. You're trying to be positive. You're trying to feel positive in your body. You're trying to maybe tell them a joke and make them in a good mood. And there they are just completely crapping on it. Like, it's not necessarily like, come on, why are you doing that to me? You might feel that way. Is this really necessary? Come on, why are we doing this? Can we just get all get along? Can we just skip past this part? It's necessary. In fact, you will find that the more higher status you become as an individual, the more you will get tested. It's just part of being a person that has value. Think about it, the highest status people get tested a lot in society. If you want to be a president at a company or even have a director position, you're going to have employees that love you and you're going to have employees that hate you. If you want to be a celebrity, guess what? Online, there's trolls typing away all day and night. You have your core audience that loves you, but the people that also don't love you. What's the highest status position in the world? It would be the president of a country. If you're going to be the president or the prime minister, guess what? They usually have an approval rating of like 54%, 60%. So it's literally like almost half the country doesn't like them. And so the higher status you are, you, more, you will get this. In fact, you should welcome it. When you get it, you should welcome it. You should be, oh, wow, people are actually trying to push my buttons to see if I really have the status that I am saying that I have or that I think that I have or I'm acting like I have. So being able to understand how to navigate a shit test is going to be incredible for you. Okay, and I'm going to break it down here in detail. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, something I dealt with a lot of my life and... Um, and I don't get it as much anymore. I don't know if that's because I just embody a person that uh, doesn't make sense to shit test me. <laughs> but yeah, I used to get it a lot. And so I can relate to what you're experiencing. I want to help you get to the next level here, okay? By the way, everything I'm showing you here, I usually go deeper in my courses. And I break this down at a higher level, a more advanced level. So this is the basics I'm showing you. It's going to get you started. But if you want to learn more, you can click one of the links that are down in the description or on the comment section and you can come to me personally and I'll help you with this on a more strategic level if you encounter this a lot every time you are going out to experience and interact with people, okay? What is the, okay, so what are the things that people usually say to you? We start with the basic here. You are fat, ew. You can almost hear the sound of the disdain in my voice when I say it. Is it ringing echoes in your brain? Is it bringing you back to last Thursday, last Friday when you went out? Uh, you are fat, okay? They just say crazy things to you sometimes. You're like, what? Uncalled for out of the blue. The easiest way to do, deal with any kind of shit test, okay? I, I put it here, is to go under. What do I mean by go under? I mean to accept what they are saying to you and answer directly what they are saying. Don't try to talk about something else. Don't try to change the subject. Accept and embrace what they are telling you, all right? And answer it. It doesn't mean they say, you are fat, and you go, yeah, I'm fat. <laughs> or you are fat, I have a weight problem, I have a thyroid problem, I gained a lot of weight, <laughs> I'm ashamed of it myself. No, you gotta like embrace the answer and then exaggerate it times 10. Not times two, not times three, you gotta do it times 10, it's super important. Because if you do it times two, it sounds pathetic. If you do it times two, it sounds like this, Hey, you're fat. Yeah, 
your, your mom's fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm fat, but you're ugly. Like, yeah, I'm fat, like, but, but, uh, like, there's no way, like, if you do it times two, it doesn't work. You gotta, like, go all out. You have to exaggerate the answer so far to the point that it's barely even reasonable what you're saying. It has to be impossible. It cannot be possible what you're saying. You have to say it's so exaggerated, obscene, that it cannot be possible what you were saying, okay? So what is not possible? You're so fat. Yeah, I'm so fat, I block out the sun. How can I even go further? I block out the sun 364 days a year, almost 365, I'm working on it, right? That's how you go even further. What's something that makes it even impossible? You're fat, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's dirty, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, you're fat, yeah. Uh, my mother breastfed me until I was 20. I saw a lot of fat from her breast milk, <sighs> okay? I don't say until I was four. That's obviously possible depending on where you're from. Or I don't know, I don't know. We just say times 20, right? Until I was 20 years old. Uh, what's another one besides you're fat? You could say, uh, you're so ugly, yeah. Um, I've, I've, I'm a virgin, I had a girlfriend once, but I, I smiled at her one time and she froze into stone like Medusa. Um, you're ugly, yeah, I'm actually the inspiration for Van Gogh's uh, and Picasso's paintings. Uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're so, you're ugly. Um, yes, you look at the dictionary definition of ugly, I'm there uh, crying with my face in a pillow. That's exaggerating it times 10 and then going under. Now, why does this work? Maybe you don't care. Maybe you're just like, hey, Madison and Happy, this works. Good, good stuff, thanks. But if you're one of these curious people, you wanna know why it works. I believe it works because it's showing that you have no ego. You're showing that you're not a person that doesn't take yourself seriously in any shape or form. And a person that has no ego is very attractive because ultimately, as human beings, we're all rocking around the world and we're not even interacting with each other. It's like one person's ego interacting with another person's ego. These, they call it an id. If you're into psychology like Carl Jung, he'll call it an id, which is a social identity. It's kind of walking around and you're walking around. But when you show that you have no ego, you're just like a real, real badass. Actually, let me draw it here, okay? So this, in real life, it's like this. This is your id. <laughs> okay, we'll just go id and their id, walking around, interacting with each other. It's not even the real you. And when you show that you can do this, you have no ego, it's like you've like erased your id and you're just like super confident. And they're like, whoa, whoa. It's like, no, you don't have to do it. Everybody else is doing it with a shell. They don't have real self-esteem, right? You have real confidence, you have true self-esteem and you're letting that show. And it can be very uh, dismantling and impressive when people see it. They almost don't believe it. It's like a magic trick that they haven't seen before. And they're just like, this blows me away. This is incredible. So there is a way to deal with, it with this as well. This is the beginner way, okay? Answer, agree with it, exaggerate it times 10. But there is a more advanced way. The more advanced way is by disagreeing with it. And you have to do this very, very carefully. Because if you disagree with it the wrong way, you just sound defensive. This is the most advanced way by disagreeing with it. I can tell you how to do it, but I'm not gonna do it here because it's super uh, tricky. But if you get it right, it's like rocket fuel, man. It's like nitro in the gas tank. It just totally like blows everybody out the water. They can't believe what they're seeing. They're just like, this is next level. And you usually don't have to deal with any, any shit test or congruence test in the future because it's that powerful and that potent. Uh, if you wanna learn more, okay, okay. Um, if you're interested in something like that, okay. If you're in, okay. If you sound, if this sounds like something that would help you, that you would like to learn how to do that, it's something that would benefit your life because you can see the benefit to it, and it would release, uh, it would erase a lot of negative situations from your experiences. I would encourage you to come work with me uh, a little bit deeper on one of my programs, or just come see what you can learn from me, whether it be in person in a boot camp program, face to face, or I take you out to lounges and nightclubs and socializing in daytime in your city. And I'm teaching you this in real time so you can see it happening in real time and see the responses from people. And that's very cool. Once you see that, it kind of makes it more real to you. Or you can learn from me virtually uh, online. 
And through a mentorship where we can actually practice these drills personally, I'll say something, I'll give you this shit test, I'll say something, you'll say something back to me, I'll give it to you. We can rehearse this through drills and exercises. And this also installs it into you. So you can learn this anywhere you are in the world with me in person or virtually. Anywhere you are, you'll still get the opportunity to get this stuff handled the way that you want to, okay? So there'll be a link down below or up on the side. Go ahead and click that link. Fill a few brief questions. Uh, it would be a great pleasure to work with you in the future. I look forward to it. And the questions in the questionnaire are very simple. Little quiz, takes 30 seconds to do. And um, me or somebody from my team will reach out to you and see how we can help you better and how we can assist you and answer your questions for you, all right? So that's it for now. And as always, keep in touch and don't be a stranger. Talk to you soon.